we just collected so much data. So let's make some sense out of this data and be able to f identify some of the trends and patterns that we have seen so far. So if you were following along with me, your data table should look exactly like this. I've now filled it in with all the numbers that we collected for the number of times um, each of those ostrilopes of different colors reproduce. So you, if you were following along with me, your data table should look exactly like this. Now, if you were following along um, using Amplify at home, your numbers are going to be a little bit different. Now, I asked you to uh, calculate the averages of each of these different um, ostrilope colors. So let's take a look at that real quick. And of course, if you did this on your own, you will have different averages than I would, but I pretty sure that we will have the same pattern identified. So when we calculate the average here for the ostrilopes with a blue color level of one, we are going to count how many times they reproduce. And that was a total of five. And we're going to divide that by the number of trials that happened which was five. And this one was kind of easy actually. The average number of times that a Australobe with a blue color level of one reproduce was an average of one time with the data that we collected. Now let's take a look at ostrilopes with a blue level of four. Those ostrilopes had a total of 12 times that they reproduced, but we want an average. Should we divide that by five and we get a average of 2.4, everyone, 2.4. Now, those ostrilopes with a yellow color level seven, those had a total of 31 times that they reproduced from what we saw following along with me in the simulation. But we want the average, so we're dividing that by five, and we get an average for yellow seven ostrilopes to be at 6.2. 6.2 folks, okay? And then this last category, which was yellow level 10, that had a total number of seven times that those ostrilopes reproduced. We divide that by five and we get an average of 1.4, an average of 1.4. So take a minute and make sure you have these averages correct. And I want you to see if you identify some sort of pattern. So take a minute and make sure you're thinking about these averages and um, what pattern that you see. I just took my data here and I actually created a histogram out of it to make it a little bit more um, concise. And so what I've done here is I've taken my averages and I've created a histogram to show the average number of times each of these uh, ostrilopes with these different colors reproduced and thus the average number of offspring that they had as well. So for blue, color level one, we had one. For blue color level four, we had an average of 2.4. For yellow color seven, we have an average of 6.2. And for um, ostrilopes with a yellow color level of 10, we had an average of 1.4. And right off the bat, folks, right off the bat, what I'm noticing here is that our ostrilopes with a yellow color level of seven, had the highest number of times that they reproduced and thus the highest average number of offspring as well. So again, they had the highest average number of times that they reproduced and also the highest average number of offspring.